Always find what you love at Total Wine and More. With so many great bottles to choose from at the lowest price, it's easy to find your favorite Cabernet or a new single barrel bourbon to try with some help from one of their friendly guides. And with every bottle comes the confidence of knowing you just found something amazing. With the lowest prices for over 30 years, find what you love and love what you find only at Total Wine and More. Curbside pickup and delivery available in most areas. Visit TotalWine.com to learn more. Spirits not sold in Virginia, North Carolina. Drink responsibly and be 21. Hey everyone, we're back with another Whiskey Quickie, and today we are looking at actually something that I love very much, which is barrel-aged stouts, but they're going the opposite. And by the way, have you had dragon's milk before? I think so. Oh, it's yeah. a very good heavy stout. They're one of the original stout creators of actually doing barrel-aged stouts in expert and barrels. The original day ender stout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time I drink a stout, I'm like, oh, my day's ruined. <laughs> they are good, but I can only do like one. It's I get it. They're heavy. They're heavy. Yep. And so this is Dragon's Milk Origin. And so what they said is this is from distilling their high malt recipe on a Prohibition era style pot still. The traditional, traditional method allowed them to produce true small batch bourbon, always bottled at the pinnacle of flavor in batches of 100 barrels or less. So this is five years, 95 proof, and has an SRP of $45. And the, the bottle's gorgeous. I mean, if a dragon was real, I guess that's what it would. I do, it has like the scales on yeah, the it. Yeah, scales. It has a very new riff kind of thing where like it starts black and goes down, like it has, yeah. a, has a gradient to it. So I I agree the. It's interesting. Pack, like, nice. You know, did between New Holland and BBC, who owns the origin? <laughs> oh, I didn't think about that one. <laughs> yeah, both got origin in there. But anyways, love the packaging. It's cool. And I'm sure as a stout fan, you're, you're stoked for this. Ah, so. Well, I'm a big fan. All right, so I'll try to try to hold my fan fanboy. Yes, I'll try to hold it in, but let's go ahead and on with the nose. Okay, a little bit of punch. I mean, Alcohol there's punch. some nice uh, raspberry. I mean, like, but but they're not. It's most actually, it's like blackberry, like uh, like not ripe blackberries. You're in a like orchard. It's not ripe yet. It's just like. You're waiting for it. <laughs> I get a little bit of uh, cocoa, a little bit of like malted chocolate kind of. On well, the yeah, you do. And the uh, I get that like unripe fruit, and then that chocolate note that that kind of smell that malty chocolate. Yeah. Anyways, all right. Well, it's a taste here. Okay, it's funky. Yeah, it is funky. I mean, you get those like like lemon pie, lemon lemony tart kind of flavors on the front. It is very tart. Yeah, it's tart. And then it's like, then it goes in those chocolate malty funky notes. It's, I mean, it's interesting. It's, it's strange. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, I would say it's strange. It's definitely something that I, I didn't peg at first. It's not your traditional Kentucky bourbon, right? So get that out of your head. No. It is, it is a, a little bit of a, a bouquet of what you'd say, those like, those lemons, those limes, those very kind of like, yeah like pungent sure. fruits that you kind of like feel in your cheeks when you bite into them. Yeah. And it's got that cho chocolate maltiness. It's on the back end. Yeah. Yeah. It's funky. I feel like I need to hit the vape pen to oh, appreciate God. this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and let's rate it on the nose. Where are you feeling? Oh, thumbs up. I, I kind of like the nose. Yeah. On the taste. I mean, it's strange, Weird. but I, I kind of like the strange. I don't know if I could have like a ton of these, but like, I could be like have one and like you want something fun and creative and hit the vape pen. <laughs> this is what we would pair with. What would you rate it though? Uh, I'm going side. Sideways. I'm going I mean, side on that one. Yeah. It, it just, I don't know. There's just, a, it's, a, it's, it's too different. weird. It's too, yeah, it's yeah. too, I, it's nothing that's wrong. It's just like, cause we've tried all kinds of different whiskeys, but when you try a bourbon and you're like, oh, this is my bourbon. You're like, wait, this is, this, this is a bourbon. Yeah, okay. Well, it's like I said, it's just a little bit in the middle there. On the finish, though. Mm, sideways. Okay. I mean, I mean, this is just a strange pour all around. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, not saying that's bad or good. It's just if you like crazy different, you're going to love this. But it is crazy different. It is crazy different. Yeah. So if, I, I would say if you're a fan of like Charbet, 
Oh yeah, this like this is, this is probably gonna be some of the wolves house. products. Uh, uh-huh. Something that's very hoppy. Yeah. Something like something different like that. This is kind of what it reminds me of. Yeah, totally. All right, and you get a cool dragon bottle. It is a sweet bottle. I'm we'll sure. Like, that. what's that show? Game of Thrones fans are like, oh yeah, oh what? yeah, I love dragon eggs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's a review of Dragon's Milk Origin. With that, cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time. Toodles.